How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be learning with Splice. Splice is an online collaboration tool that allows us to give each other this project. You guys can splice it and you can follow along with me in this tutorial. So you can find that in the description below. So getting started, we're going to be talking about UltraBeat sequencing today. And so first of all, we need to get UltraBeat on this kit track. So I'm going to go to the instrument section. I'm going to go grab UltraBeat. I'm going to select stereo for the time being. And uh, this is what opens. Now this looks a very, uh, very complicated, but good news is this entire section to the right is something we don't need to touch in this tutorial at all. So I'm going to select full view on the bottom right, and that switches us into the step sequencer view of UltraBeat, which we're going to be playing in in this tutorial. And as you can see, there's just a bunch of random aqua dots on this, on this uh, grid. So what it's best if I just show you how to do this, or if I just play this and it, it becomes self-apparent what's going on. So if I turn the sequencer on the bottom left and press play directly to the right, you can see the bar goes across. When that bar goes across and it hits any one of these aqua dots, whatever that row is, there's a sample on the left associated with it. Like there's a shaker right there. And that sample is going to be triggered at that exact moment. So we have all these samples onto the left, which is going to be our drum bank of samples. These are going to be directly mapped to MIDI keys. If we open up the, uh, the musical typing keyboard, Command K, and play around, you can see that these samples are in fact mapped to the keyboard. Uh, so let's play with some factory defaults. Um, this is just the default straight up um, kit that is associated with Lod or, uh, UltraBeat when it first starts. But if we select that, go to drum kits, there's a lot of things that we can choose from. So I'm going to grab a couple of these and just play with them a little bit. So there's a lot of different things that we can do, but associated with each kit is a are many sequences. So the, down, down the bottom left, next to pattern, we can see that any of these options with the SQ next to them are going to be available sequences for us to play with. So I'm going to switch into our full view again and play around with this now. All right, so these are all just presets that come inside of UltraBeat. But we are going to be creating our own for this track behind us. So I'm going to loop this part of the track, and let's just hear what it sounds like. I'm going to turn this off for a second. All right, so we have that throbbing bass in the background, which means we want to have a kick on every single downbeat. So first of all, let's set up our drum kit. I'm going to be using the Adept machine, the top one. All right, let's move to the full view. A uh, quick tip here is if you select any one of the dots, click and drag, you can remove everything in the pane. Another quick tip is the bottom, the kick, we want on every downbeat. So if we right click on that row, we can select add every downbeat, which will do that automatically. The velocity in the bottom, uh, velocity of any sample is how hard it's going to be hit. Um, good news is these velocities are set up perfectly because we want a, a clap on every one of those beats. All right, and then I'm going to do some add some hi-hats. I'm going to right click, add every downbeat, right click again, add every upbeat. And on this one, and this one I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do a pedal hat here and a high uh, open hi-hat there. All right. So, let's play that with the track. And to do that, it's looping already, so I'm just going to hit the space bar or play. All right, sounds great. So the next step is to drag whatever the sequence is onto our range window into a region. And so we can do that by, in the bottom left hand corner, there's this little option that says drag to range window. So if I click and drag and drop, it's going to be right there on our interface. So last thing to do before exiting out of UltraBeat is to select the power, exit out. I'm going to extend that out. I'm going to do option, click and drag, copy that over and extend this one back out. All right, in this section of the track, or in this section of the song, I'm going to be removing kick drums. All right, and let's loop that and see what the song sounds like. All 
All right, exactly what we were going for. So everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, just a quick reminder that this track is on available on Splice, so check that out, along with a lot of other people's tracks that are on there as well. Everyone, have a great day. I'll be seeing you.